Hey, what's up? I'm Boki from Bowpain. Welcome to 2000 Tuning. Back in the year of 2017, I created the 2000 Tuning Facebook page with the intention of archiving the old car scene from the early 90s to the late 2000s. On the side, I am also actively trying to return lost memorabilia to various OGs from back then or share information to people that, for example, own a company's demo car or an extra car. But more about that in a moment. The reason I created this pilot is to give you a slight feeling of what's to come. Surely, I could have already covered the topic for this episode, but since making YouTube content opens up just so many more ways of covering a topic, why not just straight up tell you some of the ideas I have for the future of the channel? My plan as of now are two different video formats. A long video that covers a large topic in great detail, and a short video which is going to be a quick news kind of video. Those would be, compared to the long videos, updates of previously discussed topics or topics which just aren't worth a full video's length. The topics that I have currently noted down are covering cars that I've already covered on the Facebook page, or shops, having interviews with OG builders and contributors, or maybe videos where I showcase some of the magazines I have inside my collection. But first, a quick word from my sponsor of the entire channel, my archive. Alright, so, why do I collect all of these photos? Why do I spend so much time making sure that the info from back in the day is all archived and preserved? Because of the way the internet works, stuff gets lost pretty easily the longer time moves on. I decided to try and save as many old car photos as possible from all kinds of farms, archived websites and whatever else there is and just sort them out of my folder. And here's how I have it sorted out. Anyway. With my collection and the Honda folder. I plan to create some sort of digital museum online, like a forum where people can contribute or ask for photos of their old build for example. I've already done this a couple of times with people that have messaged me on Facebook or that I've messaged. My motivation, as I've already said, is to return lost memorabilia and sadly not everybody was fortunate enough to keep their stuff. Things might have been lost, damaged or even stolen. I've already sent parts of my collection to guys such as for example Mike Fan from Team Autobots or to even LJ Garcia from Team Wisdom. Yeah, that LJ. Oh, also fun fact, I've also remade his Civic as a high quality 3D model as a Christmas present last year. Check it out! Anyway, back on topic. I have also informed a couple of people of what cars they even own such as my buddy Timothy with his material built 180SX, shout out to him. Or Justin from Team Hybrid with his imported curved built Supra. Another thing I also try to keep track of is what happened to all of these cars, such as demo cars for example. But this topic deserves its own video. Why did I create the page and then later on the group? Growing up, I noticed how custom cars start to become more and more mundane and boring, unlike the crazy cars that I remember seeing in tuning magazines back in the day. And with my page, I really wanted to highlight the old days of custom car culture, and maybe even make a change in today's car scene, to get people back into doing maybe a bit more than just cloud-driven cars or just lowering a car on, on wheels and calling it a build. I however specifically don't mean cars like these. These are still cool by their own rights and even era appropriate, which makes them fitting for the page. And it seems like I've made a change, but obviously not me alone. Quick shout out to everyone else that created the page with the same spirit, like my friends Mitchell from Underground Stalls.us or Quentin from Fast and Furious Eclipse France. I also want to give a quick shout out to my buddy Roger, who is the co-admin of my page and also for keeping it real and still being in the car game, currently with his F31 with a Diana kit. Now onto the group. I opened up 2000 Studio Cell Shelf and more as a way for other like-minded people to connect with each other, but also to give them an easier time to buy and sell old parts or other fitting items, such as magazines, shirts or whatever else fits. Only period correct stuff gets in there though, with maybe an exception here and there. Right, so, I have no idea how to finish the video, so I'll just say that I'm done for now. My current idea 
for a video schedule would be two videos a month, one of the long ones and a short one. I hope that this will make up for my absence from posting on the Facebook page, but I also hope that this way I will be able to inform people about what I'm passionate about with a wider audience. On that note, thanks for watching, see you soon.